Hey guys, I just wanted to do a video to explain what happened with Code of the Natural and, and you know, what I think about it now and uh, what I'm up to now and how it relates to Code of the Natural and if it's still useful. So, um, you know, my background was in physical training. I was head of strength conditioning and injury prevention for Chelsea Football Club for a number of years. Uh, you know, I worked with, uh, I was a player consultant for Barcelona Football Club, English National Ballet School. I still work with athletes now. So I have, um, you know, a bit of experience of working with athletes and that was my background. And when I was at Chelsea, I, I've explained this story before. I was uh, very interested in my own development, my own internal journey. And I started it when I was about 28. Um, you know, studying Reiki and uh, metaphysics and, um, you know, psychology and trying to work out my own problems, right? Which is why most people go into things, right? They want to work out their own pain. So I had a lot of pain and um, I wanted to know why I had so much physical pain. So that was very interesting to me. But then I started to realize that um, there was a, a mental, emotional component to that. And that was my journey. Uh, and I've got more and more interest in, in it and when I was at Chelsea I was just thinking about this the other day I was doing a lot of like zone exercises pull check zone exercise in fact uh, pull check really opened my eyes up to how the mind and the spirit affects the body um, so I was doing you know exercises to promote like parasympathetic nervous system um, when players were overtraining I was trying to work, get them to work in instead of working out uh, I was working on chakras, <laughs> I was into everything. And um, really the environment wasn't very open to that, to say the least. So I, I was kind of hidden. And I remember when I had, I had this world-class player um, and I was doing a postural um, analysis of all the players, uh, uh, which I studied in France, in Paris, posturology. Um, and what I was doing was I'd get a um, two, very precise scales and get the player to stand on them with a plumb line and lines in the background, take photographs. And then um, uh, I would analyze different um, proprioceptive feeders into the body to see if there was something wrong. So looking at their eyes, their teeth, um, leg length, skin, uh, proprioceptors or receptors, uh, eyes, see if there was faulty. And I was doing this with, with the players and I always look for like, how their senses perceived their external environment, see if there was any faulty uh, information coming in, which was making the body twist or tilt, which is what it does. And as I w had all the medical team around me, and I was, as I was asking these questions, um, I said, uh, I just thought, oh, I wonder what would, well, I wonder how the mind affects his weight shift. Because he was like eight kilos heavier on one leg, which is massive. Um, weight shift and you know the podiatrist inputted to me like you know, it could be short leg could have been um, but I wanted to see so I asked him something along the lines of what's the best sex you've ever had I think the question was you know this is football I was trying to look for a positive thing for him and he took about 20 minutes to answer uh, a lot of experience probably and uh, then he went oh yeah this girl and he didn't know what I was doing I was looking at the scales so he was eight kilos heavy. At the moment, I saw, he he was kind of going dig, 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 looking for the memory. In the moment he locked onto the one memory, he balanced out perfectly on the scales, and I my jaw dropped. I was like, I couldn't believe it. I looked at everyone else. No one, no one saw it. No one got it, and um, I just realized that that was like like one of those aha moments in my life and. Um, then I said, oh, what's the worst day of your life or the saddest day of your life? And again, he, he quickly found that and you could feel his whole body just whoosh, drop, you know, the energy inside and he went even further out of balance. So with all my skill set, all of my training in physical therapy and, you know, all of that stuff, I couldn't have changed him like that. So it, it was like, oh my God, this just, why am I using my hands? Why am I doing all this physical work? Right, cut a long story short, that changed my life. And I've been searching, it's getting on to um, 18, 18 years, 17 years now, looking for what, that ha what happened and how I could affect it. 
So um, to cut a long story short again, um, now I know how to do that. And I work only with that strong energy and weak energy because it's so impactful on the body. And so the way our minds work has such an important impact on our body. So when it came to the code of the natural, it was a fantastic system for changing the body. But what I was finding was most of the people, the clients I was working with in Code of the Natural, they overthink, they over, and their perceptions are all lopsided. And therefore their body was tight and asymmetrical. And so for me to make a change with clients now, I go bang, straight there, and the body just changes on its own. Yes, we need to move. And yes, sometimes we need specific work done on, you know, to free off the hip and three dimensionally. So Code of the Natural Exercise is still working brilliantly. I still think it's the best body language program on the internet because everyone else try, it brings the mind in, you have to think about it. You need to reprogram the body. So um, that's what I'm doing now. I still work with um, men uh, in, in terms of, how, you know, meeting, um, having relationships, how they think about themselves, uh, you know, self-confidence, um, you know, uh, you know, sex, sexual issues. Uh, I still work with that a lot, and I find it fascinating. If you do want to really change things, just contact me. Um, leave leave a message under the video as well, or you can um, always go to my website uh, www.robrinder.com, and uh, there's a you can get in touch with me there. I'd love to hear from you. So uh, I have fond memories of Code and Natural. It's just. I, I had to move on from it and I love what I do. This is all I do now is work with this absolutely fascinating coding, binary coding of energy in the body. It will, one day will be common knowledge, but at the moment it's, it sounds really crazy and woo-woo, but I get amazing results. And so I just, I can't not do it. So I left that fantastic career and job working, you know, as a physical guy to work more in the, the mind and energy work but I couldn't go back. It's just too amazing. So um, love to hear your comments, love to know what you're up to, what your challenges are. Um, and if you enjoyed the, the video, um, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, cheers.